Hello, welcome back. Uh, this week I was realizing how close Christmas is coming, and don't panic yet, it's still several months off, but uh, if you're making handmade gifts, you have to start those sooner than running to the store because it takes a lot longer to get something assembled than necessarily running to the store Christmas Eve and grabbing something for that person you forgot last minute. Uh, so, um, I was realizing that my original plan for this year was to just kind of s slowly sew throughout the year and have this huge collection of things to just pick and choose from to give to people and um, that has not happened. <laughs> so I need to, I've been making lists and plans for what I'm going to make for each person and uh, realizing that I need to start being disciplined with my time to really get it done so that I can take the time I want to spend on each gift rather than having them be a really hurried rushed affair that might fall apart might not look all that great I want to make sure I have time to have nice neat seams nice straight lines um, to use the iron and press seams um, especially on the bags because it makes such a difference to the finished product um, so that is what I'm going to start focusing on in the next few weeks and uh, hopefully I will um, be able to start churning out uh, presents for people. Um, and if you are on my Christmas list, then you might get a sneak peek of what you will be getting. Um, fair warning. <laughs> but uh, this week, um, I've been doing a lot of drawing with the paper dolls still. Uh, so that, and that is, I'm working towards um, eventually opening up an Etsy shop with the paper dolls. So that's why I'm not sharing those as much on here because eventually they'll be unveiled in the shop and um, so you'll get sneak previews here and there but um, my goal is in a, in a few months to get that up and running. Um, but other than that I was able to work on a dress for my mother-in-law that is, I've, I have it put together enough to try it on her the next time I see her and get the um, get the hem lengths right and make just make sure that the fit is good and I don't need to make any adjustments before I do any of the finishing. So it's made from a fabric that for Christmas last year I made um, matching dresses for her three uh, granddaughters, um, semi, semi matching, um, all using the same fabric and similar style and I had enough fabric left over and she loved the fabric so I decided, hey, I can make a dress for her. Um, and I just had barely enough fabric. So I had to I had to squeeze um, a couple spots. I had to kind of adjust the pattern pieces, make the sleeves shorter than originally called for. So it definitely needs a fitting before I finish it because I don't want to have to go back and rip out a whole bunch of, whole bunch of work. And in other news, really haven't done much. We've been um, trying to use the last of the evening daylight outside it's it's quickly disappearing um we we hit dinner time and go outside and then before we know it it's already dark before bedtime um so that uh it's it's kind of bittersweet i love the change of seasons but it's um we lose the daylight so quickly up here in the north um and uh it yeah it's it does give you nice cold uh, evenings to look forward to in winter time where you, you know, get cozy in the house and everyone, um, there's just a different feel to a winter evening than there is to a summer evening. Winter time, you're all inside and spending time together. Summertime, you're all outside and spending time together. So it's just a little bit of a different, different, uh, vibe going, but, um, yeah, so I'm, I'll miss the summer evenings, but I'm looking forward to, to the winter time and just how our lives kind of change with, the season, um, just based on the weather outside. And, uh, we'll see if, um, that means more creative time. Right now I'm thinking that I might start doing updates every other week because we have some changes just with life, um, that might decrease my creative time. And so I, um, so I might not be updating quite as frequently through the rest of the year, but, um, I want to continue through the rest of the year since I made a um, I challenged myself to do this for a full year, so I don't want to just completely stop just because life is getting busy and our priorities are shifting. Um, I want to continue with it just to, just so that I can say, yes, I, I followed through. <laughs> I met that goal. Um, but there might be some changes with the scheduling in the next, in the next few weeks. 
So I'll keep you updated with that, and hopefully we'll have some more things to share with you next week. Thank you.